Happy Easter. Today na Easter Sunday. Greetings for all Ambazonians who bring una salute. Today na Sunday number 31 day for this month of March, month end 2024. My name na Kapo Daniel, una own countryman, Saint Pass King. Una welcome to another episode of our daily podcast. A program where they bring una the truth, where they bring una meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as we work out for this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia. Our country people at home and abroad are bring una liberation salute as we start today. We the end this month. We the enter for new month for the month for April. We the one for start as na Easter day, a day where Christians all over the world they will celebrate the resurrection of Christ. For Friday, when at the day where Jesus Christ they will celebrate his death, they will call and say a Good Friday. How they go do the call a day where person be be tortured to death as a good day. Now because according to Christianity. If he die, na so that may God he forgive the sin for all person where it is sin. If he be a good man, we sacrifice himself so that may people then go for heaven. May they forget their sin. So they call and say, na a good day for humanity. So God he sacrifice himself. And this one, na a message we will feel drawn from Bazonian struggle. For this past eight years, we would identify the Republic. A lot of our young men, them, they don't pick up gun fight against an army where it be on insurmountable by our own force. Cameroon if you say they go intimidate we, they go use brutal force. Within two weeks they go eliminate anybody where they fight, but we don't prove them wrong. Our brave men they don't stand up. At one point it will be impossible for La Republic their military for work for our city or their official them without putting on armored car or gun proof for their skin. It shows they wouldn't demonstrate, wouldn't fight a good fight. Wouldn't show them, say, even we, Franco Anglophone them. But mommy, them feel born picking the way they feel carry gun. Never again in history would they think they can walk over our territory, walk over our people without any resistance or without any price to pay. La Republic, they don't bow, they don't surrender, they don't accept. Say, indeed, the way they talk, there is no Anglophone problem. Indeed, there is a problem. Even though they don't offer cosmetic solution, that is a big defeat. La Republic, if it talks, they go catch all Ambazonian activism. Instead, they run the work at the back them, not for back them. La Republic, if it talks, they don't go ever discuss this topic internationally. But they run bow, come for international fora in the presence of the United Nations for sit down for talk about the root causes for the Anglophone problem we then generate into this war. Our soldier, they then fought a good fight, our population. They don't fight a good fight. At one time, even the Cameroon people, then they would run our territory because even picking the way they did say granot, they would deny for sale and for francophone them. Congratulations, we don't fight a very good fight. But as everything, there is time for everything. There is time for war and there is time for peace. Nothing, no day will really come to an end. Even the Afghanistan war will be long, they be fisi go last forever. That one also, it don't come to an end. And our war also need for come to an end. I will play a, a message from the Secretary General of the Ambazonian People's Right Advocative Platform, where it will come for our people, them especially as we end East, we end this month with Easter. This message will be very refreshing for our people. Then, make one listen. We appreciate all. We appreciate all. They are sleepless nights. To set Le Fancy popcorn, they are unchanged dressed, they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are inability to express themselves in, in a part of the society like others, they have been identified like people who stay in the bush and gorillas, those are their sacrifices we cannot forget. Their heads were put on the streets, bodies, nakedness. In signposts, their corpses were abandoned for days. It all became a mock. But one thing we will never allow their morality to go down 
is that the Ambazonians fighters, dead or alive, wherever their spirit may be. We say in African People Right, on behalf of African People Right Advocacy Platform, the end of this month, we say you people did a very wonderful job. The La Republic, they thought that they could just enter our street for a second and wipe away everybody and allow us to submit. They will rose up. Ambazonia rising, rising, rising. Ambazonia rising to fall no more. And we give them shame. We make their deals, colonial deals, to flee our land, their parliamentarians. They flee like refugees. And they could only come back in the form of sneaking and having a North military guard. That is what we did. We stopped the timbers, we stopped the train. But today, they can come in our land again as a mock. That should not scare you. That should not make you feel they have defeated us. And if we, African People Rights Advocative Platform, we are proposing for a devolution of the con Constitution of Cameroon, it's not that we are weak or we didn't fight or we are giving up. But it's to let you know that there is time for everything. So we encourage all of you to support this initiative, this big plan process, this devolution, so that we can secure an autonomy in our own state and exercise our right and freedom. Wherever you are, a leader, Yerima, Dr. Sako, Dr. Beniza Akwanga, Dr. Ebacho, wherever group you call yourself, Mr. John Bakuro, we call on everyone, activists, that we have fought a good fight and we have held our head high in the sky and we are not giving up but there is a time for everything at this moment we the african people right advocate platform we call on everyone to say there is time to every season when american back up in venom it was their decision they sat and said no brothers we have every what it takes but we can't continue like this let's give these people a chance and they pull back from Afghanistan, same like in Vietnam. It was not a defeat, but it was a strategy. We can secure our homeland, we can secure our freedom again. We can secure our right to elect to vote and to exercise our democracy in the way we want. If we all can agree and go for autonomy, a change of status quo, that's all we ask. We appreciate you all for the brave fight, the brave support. Even Manjel, many of those who are even in jail now because they wanted to support one or the other. Those who in prisons, we have not forgotten you. From the Naira 10 to all the foot soldiers and those who were arrested illegally at the beginning of this war, we appreciate your bravery and your resistance. To our Muslim scholar in this time of Ramadan, we appreciate you. And all the solutions that have been put forward to even some journalists in Cameroon, in debate forum, to Mr. Evis, the kangaroo man, we appreciate all you people did well. We look forward to see in the coming months what lies ahead for a better solution. God bless you all. So that was this, the Secretary General of the Ambazonian People's Right Advocative Platform. And that represents the spirit of our team and uh, our vision. We have fought a very good fight. We have defeated La Republic. La Republic cannot defeat us. We should be clear about that. They have failed. They have submitted. We are just simply adjusting to the reality to try to make sure that we get something for our people and clear a way that we can reach to independence. There is a time for everything. We have fought a good fight. Right now, no amount of fight that we can do can change anything again in terms of independence but our trajectory in terms of political solution we can make progress that one we assure our people and if we don't take the opportunity then we will be the one to lose i had a conversation with some comrade and they were telling me why are we conceding i said no we are not conceding we are not conceding we are simply taking advantage and making sure we secure the gains we have made because there is a risk that we can lose it if we don't
take the advantage and come out with this solution. We are going to push the solution. We are capable. We are competent. The, the peace plan is getting ready. We have to go through the legal process. So we are legalizing the People's Right Advocative Platform. That is the official name. We, we can add it, Ambazonian People's Right, African People's Right. It is the People's Right Advocative Platform. We are going legal, we are going official, and we are going to take the solution to every corner of the war and get the critical support that we need in order to give our people victory. You can count on us and you can believe in us. We cannot also stop without giving update because it's very important. We have the house in one of those who are believed to have given intelligence about our general in uh, big in Babanki. Spirito was killed. The house of the person who was involved has been burnt. March the 30th, 30th of March 2024. Yes, now come on this one of the black legs they need for two hours. Yes. Where the mastermind of our general, he died, General Spiritu. Yes, out in a fire, John and Mason, Unity Warriors, Shik Shik No Day. So, from all indication, the soldiers are, we believe what they have said, that this particular house belonged to somebody who had worked with the Camaro military to identify Spirito and get him killed. The man have run away from the village with his family. His property was burnt. And we want to tell them that this is the right thing to do. They cannot allow somebody to betray a general and the general is dead. And we, we are sure of that and they don't take action. This is not the burning down of the whole village of Babanki. And majority of the population in Babanki, they understand. This is how we should react. We should never do collective punishment or act like the enemy. But actions must be taken to deter those who work with the enemy. So this is the right thing to do and uh, that is something we support. Also, as a Piteona, the ADF that I'm block the Ekok, um, Ekok, Ekok Road, the one way to go for inside, uh, it go for Ekok, when a very important route. As a Piteona, last time, so when they detox the one for Lock, the one for Ekok, Bamenda Road, for one month, they be do the toxin now because of big number I die now just for get motif and excuse as they always do. They now just for just disturb our people them and for spoil business and for push the struggle away from our population into the hands of La Republic. La Republic now can get biggest meeting for Bamenda. They not raise finger, but they could then for begin treating our own people. We need to carry the fight to the enemy, not against our civilian. And I want to point this out to our population in the most humblest way, make them understand. When I look at the American Revised Report as they extend the TPS, it make them one thing, it be very clear. See, the era when lockdown were seen as show of force or show of power is over. Lockdown and these uh, roadblocks are now seen as a hostage situation. I'll read the description of the American government of such tactics. They say these are means of forceful control over last part of the Anglophone problems, pro, uh, regions. Sometimes deliberately attempt to harass and intimidate the local population using lockdowns. So the war, it is see this roadblock and such activities we are about to do them. Not like something where they should say we are Bazunia are strong or we free our people but something against our own people, forceful control for harassment and intimidation. So the purpose is not political. The purpose is to harass and to intimidate the local population. It is something that works for the enemy. It is not something that works for our people. We condemn it and we say that it does not, no matter what good face they put out there, what they go to share, whatever they try to masquerade themselves, their actions speaks for themselves and that is wrong. We we'll continue to condemn it. Our population should resist and they have all the rights to take actions and measures to eliminate such lockdowns and such characters that works for the enemy. Our population have the right. These are not soldiers who are working. You look in uh, Spirito in Babanki. He was working well. There is nobody who have ever been intimidated or kidnapped or 
or taking money. The only arrest that Spirito they did was women who protested against Ambazonian fighting and they were they conducted themselves very well. They were very open. He has always been very open to talk to us and all the people in those camps there to listen and to explain themselves. But as you know, what explanation can I about you and the ADF give for blocking the a very important road? It does not even make sense even to what he has been saying that you cannot lock do lockdown without explanation. What explanation would they give us again? So whatever they are doing, we say it takes only one person with a gun to hold a thousand people hostage. It is possible for one person to stand with a gun and say no more to no go pass for road for day for one bush. It will work for a time. But eventually, when you are fighting against your people, just like Akko Giant, with the population eventually go turn against you and they will make a mockery of you. We'll see what it be happen for big number. Soldier will be get the highest amount of population. It won't die when a population that they celebrate, that they talk me they can't put their body for street. So a word to a wise is sufficient. Back for inside Nigeria, the lawyer them led by Barista Fru, they ran submit the petition for the House of Representatives for help for get the, the Nigerian legislature for put pressure, meaning release the Naira 10. All the lawyers, the way they signed the petition, now all the Cameroonian and them, according to the document, the way they show on the Nigerian uh, lawyer, the Mambaris, that they no sign. We know, know the reason why the petition, it will be for the panel on the 16th of this month of April. According to the document, Odangetam, the petition, it described uh, Julius Ayoktabe as a vice president of the American University of Nigeria Information Technology Expert, human rights activist, philanthropist. He also described Augustine Chair Awoms as professor of surgery of the Department of Veterinary Surgery and Diagnostic Imaging, Abdu Belo University, Blaise Berinu Zivinzeng as barrister at law, human rights advocate, solicitor and notary public. You also get a Colinius Njikimbi Kwanga, PhD in economics and senior lecturer in Oruwu Musa University. Egbe Ojok, PhD in engineering, associate professor of structural engineering at Bayero University. Felix Nde Chair, PhD in engineering and associate professor. The petition said that the adoption and consequent deportation from Nigeria to Cameroon on the January the 5th, 2018 was based on frivolous allegation of plotting to destabilize the government of the Republic of Cameroon and the President Paul Bia. In their petition that they have submitted to the House Committee, the public petition by the lawyers, they said that they were unfairly tried and incarcerated in Cameroon despite the fact that the two separate judgments in Nigeria had ruled in their favor in connection in this matter. The petition was presented on behalf of on their behalf by Professor Carson Anyangwe, Professor Achidi Barista Fru, Joseph Awa, Barista Abdu, Barista Binka, and Estin Singh. These are the names that are listed as those who presented it. The submission was done by I think Barista Fru. It stated that despite the judgment in Nigerian courts, that the arrest and deportation was illegal. Hence, they should be released and compensated financially. They, st they are still being held in Konengi Security Detention Facility in Cameroon. They also added that on the October 2022, the Human Rights Council Working Group on Arbitrary Detention in Communication 59 stroke 2022 found that the arrest and detention in Ni by Nigeria and Cameroon were illegal. Hence, the six professors in Nigerian University and four others have petitioned the House representative to help secure their release after being allegedly adopted from Nigeria. So now the petition that, we could, they would get the public hearing on the petition on the 16th of April, we would follow them. I want to see for the petition, official petition, they represent Seseko Ayoktabi and the rest as Cameroonians where they be there for Nigeria. Those are just the legal facts. So when would they advance a cause for secure autonomy, would the talk say will make certain concession? It no mean I say would they give away anything where it not be real. Would they simply just adjust our propaganda? And uh, that is the right thing to do. And we hope we'll secure the right of self-determination 
for our people and secure them a pathway where they can have independence. And this alternative solution is the key. We must have this alternative solution to be able to end the war. It is good for both sides. The killing on both sides will stop as a result. And those who will continue to oppose it on both sides will be seen as extremists and they will have to face the raft of those who will stand for the way forward by our people. That is what is going to be ha to happen. We cannot abandon the status quo that helps and enable those hard lines on both sides to continue making money out of the struggle and to continue to feed their ego. We must do the right thing for our population. We look forward for a very productive April with the legalization and the official launching of the PPP, the peace plan paper that calls for the devolution of Cameroon as an alternative solution. And we hope and we believe that we are still going to have a lot of bump. Many other Ambazonian groups have decided to have direct negotiation with the Republic as well. We want the population to know. And uh, that is not a bad thing, but it undermines well thoughtful and bad process that we have engaged in. And that is just the nature of our people. We never miss opportunity to mess up. Capo Daniel looking out for you, signing off.